So ignore the bottom. These are just the, these are the pencils that I did not bring. These are the additional colors available. These are the colors that are available in the ink tense blocks and in the ink ten, corresponding ones in the ink tense pencil. It's a set. Now, um, so what I did on this was show you, I just wet the surface with water and did the straight block down, let it wash out a little bit. The second row is um, if you use a wet brush and just brush it on the stick and then apply. And the third one with the pencils, I use wet pencil and I abuse my pencils. Mm -hmm. With my eight tenths of pencils, I'm very abusive. I dip them directly in the water and then onto the wet paper. So far, I haven't had any <laughs> bad results mm -hmm. from it, but people cringe when they see me doing it. Well, I don't totally, you know, I just <laughs> get the point in. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> yeah. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. What, what are you supposed to do? When well, they, they recommend either doing it dry and then adding water or using a brush and brushing it off the pencil. Right. Yeah. I like the more direct. <laughs> I like to get my hands in there and get, them, get it done. So this is my palette for the show. <laughs> nice, clean, not messed up. Honestly, my normal palette of choice is my coffee can lid. <laughs> so you're saying that's a new palette? Yeah. <laughs> I had it for a couple of years. This, this is the normal palette I use. These are my normal mixing cups, otherwise known as cream cheese recycling. <laughs> These are my normal water tubs, which is Vietnamese takeout recycling. <laughs> What flavor was the cream cheese? Does it matter? Plain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Truth of the story, oh, it's hand-me-down cream cheese. Okay. <laughs> I have one of our volunteers at the library lives in a senior home and she doesn't like it, so we get her leftover food. <laughs> I like her Yeah. Water. Am I, how? I'm just going to do a little bit because I've been talking so long. I know we're going to be running short on time. So. And actually, for some reason, one of my favorite brushes to use on scratch board is a porcelain painting brush. It came with a kit. And I never did do the porcelain painting because I found out that you need to be fired and you don't want to fire it. Just like Sculpey, you don't want to fire it in the regular oven because while the product is fine, wet, um, it's non-toxic, but when you're firing it, it lets off a lot of fumes and the MSDS sheets say, don't you ever use your oven again after taking a minute. So I bought the kit and just kept the brush. Have you noticed that the ampersand leaves destroy the ampersand? I hadn't noticed because honestly I use such cheap paint brushes on them. Because um, I kind of, you know what you did to Steve the other day? <laughs> okay. Um, there's an there's a brush Nazi who lives in the same house with me. <laughs> so I have to be careful with brushes. So I use like Crayola brushes. Actually Crayola craft brushes are some of the best brushes I found. What did you do to Steve? I insulted him about not being a good photographer. I thought I took the pictures and I was saying what oh. shitty pictures they were. And he said, yeah. I, I took those pictures. <laughs> um, yeah, but Amber, I have boxes and boxes of paintbrushes from when I used to paint with oils. And they're all sable and they're all nice and I can't paint anymore with oils. 
So I've been using them for my inks. Oh yeah. And ampersand just fries me. Oh wow. It absorbs. It seems to absorb a lot into the. It's a split ends. <laughs> Oh, they're wonderful. They are so fine. That's the watered down wash. Okay, my board is. One reason I use a lot of water on my boards is because at first the clay really will pick it up, pick up the water. Have you used your iridescent medium with the pencils? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does that? Wonderful. Okay. Just wonderful. Purple fingernails. <laughs> Now, there's a product called, I don't know if I, we have it in California, I don't know if it's nationwide, it's called Kiss Off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if that takes out ink, it's really good. I it's, use that on my boss. Is that like Kiss My Face? <laughs> hmm? Is that like Kiss My Face? And is that made the same? Oh. <laughs> is that an actual product? Yeah. Kiss, kiss My Face? Yeah, it's... Uh, it comes like a glue, it looks like in a glue container, and it, it really works good for taking ink. Uh, off your skin? Yeah. Oh, is it, is it something like goop? Uh, oh, I hate goop though. Goop is so, the smell is so strong. Orange. Yeah. Orange. I guess that's not a orange. Scented. Just jump in and do it. No, it's not orange. I'm cool. Yeah. There's a little bit of a scent. Just talking, not yes. watching, so I'm using the Dale Rowney Blue, which is a beautiful one. Yeah. 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 That's so yeah, it is. Now, FW is very nice in it. It was my favorite until I discovered Liquitex. And Liquitex is even a little bit easier to manipulate. Something like this, I don't keep within any lines. I, for one reason, with the uh, backgrounds near the end, I tend to just sand off areas and throw in all the colors I've been using. Insurance agent stocks all of our paint brushes with bottle openers. <laughs> so, do you just work on one piece at a time, seeing how how much water you use to let it dry all the way, or do you work on something else, or do you just work? If on I'm a part? doing small boards, I do two or three at a time. Okay. But the truth of the matter is, life interferes with my art so much that I do well to work on a board. Understandable. Yeah, you do. So, um, I'm doing, plus like this year, I've done the two big boards, just a couple of, I did the one for the challenge, the eight by 10 for the challenge, and just piddled a little bit on a couple boards. That's been it since Indianapolis. Plus, um, 